Hi, I'm Pat Hindle with Microwave Journal, and I'm here at EDI Icon China 2018. I'm talking with Mark Roki. Uh, we were on a GAN panel earlier today. What did you think of that GAN panel? Um, yes, it's uh, it was it was really authentic. I think that uh, we discussed very important matters. Uh, of course, we had uh, companies presenting different uh, products and different processes. Uh, but we are now facing the reality. I mean, is again really a product today or not? And uh, what I developed myself, I mean, during the, this panel, was the fact that uh, we had the vision atomic uh, a few years ago. We understood that GAN was not just a power process; it was potentially a process for any functions receiving and transmitting. So again, in that sense, is different from what the others presented. They're still focused on power, and if you have only a power process, unfortunately, you need a different technology for the receiving part. That means two chips. With our process today, you can have only one chip, especially the one I mentioned, the TR chip, where we have an LNA, a PA, and a switch. And again, as the power capability. Power added efficiency, but at the same time, it has the low noise, a low noise figure that is as good, even better than what we have with gas. So, I think we are entering a new age. We're entering the age of a third generation. We have the gas MOSFET, we have the gas PM, and now we have the GAN HEMT. HEMT. But at the same time, comes another discussion during the panel that you. There was the substrate discussion, the issue of the substrate, silicon versus silicon carbide. Uh, we should not be religious about that. <laughs> uh, maybe it comes the day where silicon carbide is so cheap that you, at six-inch level for a six-inch wafer, uh, that you will use it. Potentially, it's better, but six-inch silicon carbide is too expensive today, and eight-inch is—I don't know if it's possible. I'm not a specialist on this subject, but uh, I think this is, a, for me, a very a, a big question mark. So uh, uh, we are entering the age of uh, 5G telecommunication, real 5G, not 4.5G. <laughs> I'm talking of millimeter wave 5G, and in that sense, uh, we need low cost and 16-inch uh, silicon carbide. For me, it's too expensive, despite what the Corvo guy said. That's uh, about it. Well, that's a very interesting panel, and you have a great、uh, outlook on everything. And so, we really are in the age of、yes. being able to commercialize millimeter wave on one chip. Yes,、uh, and and it's not only.、Uh, what's interesting is that there's different countries, different fr frequency ranges and slots.、Uh, we are uh, now uh, uh, in 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 a situation where we will have maybe. Uh, applications three five、uh, G will be from twenty six or maybe even lower twenty four twenty three up to forty, de depending on where where you're going to deploy the systems.、Uh, so we are ready for all these frequency ranges and、uh, with this one hundred nanometer and sixty nanometer process. Great! It was good talking to you today, and I、uh, appreciate your perspectives and your participation on the GAN panel. Thank, Thank you, you very、so、much. much.